today i would like us to look at some metabol doc types so this uh, we are going to be looking ex at the cross doc types theorem this is what you are going to be using to understand this so you see here when you are creating a doc type there is the, a section here or rather a checkbox that says it's submittable i have promised when you are starting the course that i'm going to tell you or rather to explain to you what this means so when i check this first of all I'd like us to open this in a new tab and then I would like to show you how, for instance, a sales invoice in ERP Next looks like. So here, we may need to first of all create a customer. So we are going to do that. No doubt, we can just go ahead and create our test customer. So test customer, and then the customer group, we can see it's a commercial one. And territory, we can see it's in Kenya. You can put that to wherever you want that customer to be. And then we can go ahead and create a first, uh, oh my, I have to also create an item. So let me also say test item and this one item also has the item name. I would like to uh, capitalize those properly. And then the item group I'm going to say is a product. It's in numbers, yes. And then the opening stock is about a thousand and maybe this is 10. And then I save. So this is my first item. When I go ahead, remember we are in the sales invoice. When I save this, you notice that the system now puts this to into draft and it is has a button here that says submit if we go and save a course let me show you here if we save a course like test course and then we save we don't see such here you just see that the course has been saved there is no draft anywhere and then we don't have anything else that's just a save button which when you click again tells you that there are no changes made in the document so this, for instance, a sales invoice is what we refer to as a submittable doc type. And the concept of submittable doc type makes sense in the documents that you do not want people to keep changing once they have arrived at their final stage. For instance, in the sales invoice, once I have submitted a sales invoice, I don't want to keep changing it. So for instance, I have just, I have already sent the invoice to the customer I don't want someone else to come and change the same invoice all right so the reason why we have a draft stage here is because uh, is so that uh, in case maybe you don't remember let's this is just an example you don't remember the price of the test item here uh, you can leave it to maybe whatever it is and then save it to avoid losing your information and then you go and uh, maybe inquire from somebody or check from another place what is the price of this and let's say this is 12 shillings the selling price and then you can come back and save it so you notice that when this was in draft it allowed me to change the price let's say for instance i have forgotten here it's not one that we are selling but rather 10 or, or let's even say something like seven you see when i do that now this tells me it's not saved and i can go ahead and save it and the other thing you need to note is that there's an audit log of everything that you are doing in this document. Not because it is submittable, but that can be enabled as I'm going to be showing you later in the course. You can enable this audit log in every document within Fravit. So when we go ahead and submit this document now, this document can no longer be changed. So if for instance, I notice that I changed, I, I, I wrote seven here instead of nine, now i can't come back and change it you see this does not allow me to change so this is what we refer to as submittable documents now in this state it tells me unpaid but this state is going to change depending on the kind of statuses you have put for your documents this does not mean that every submitted document is going to read unpaid this is reading unpaid because it is a sales invoice others are going to read uh, something like to deliver and all that depending on which document you are looking at now submittable doc types have normally three stages the first uh, three statuses the first status is the draft state which is represented by a zero the second one is a cancelled state which is represented by a two and the third stage is a submitted which is represented by a one like the one we are seeing here so if you get into the database this is going to be in status one so what if i really need to change this document for instance i submitted it and this was not supposed to be seven but rather nine so what you need to do for every submittable document you need to cancel the document first and then after you have cancelled this is going to be now this is what i told you is a status of two a cancelled document and you can see it here it says uh, even the status is cancelled 
and then you can go ahead and amend so every cancelled document that is in the first stage of cancelled has this amend button and the reason why i'm saying first stage is because once you amend this and create uh, it, it creates another document and now this is left as cancelled but it's uh, uh, it's no longer the first stage of cancelled i'll show you that in action in a few minutes so now if i needed to change this to nine again at the cancelled state you can change it but now i can amend this document this is unsaved i can come here and put nine and then i go ahead and save it and the process continues so this is again returned to a state of a zero which is a draft if i come back here you notice that now i have two documents instead of one one of them is cancelled and the other one is the draft one and you notice that when one has told you about the first stage of cancelled when now i go back to this cancelled that is after i have saved a copy from it when i go here i can no longer amend this document you see where we had the amend do, uh, button it is no longer there so you can no longer change this document it uh, is left here as an evidence that you uh, you you extracted another document from here and yes you notice that also the number of this document is ending with 0001 of course all this other information is not going to change but note this 0001 at the end there when i come to the document that i created from it you notice that this now is 0001 and then an hyphen and one and down here you can see it is amended from and it is amended from this document now i can go ahead and submit this other document and now i have two documents one the cancelled one remember it's going to stay there for purposes of audit and then we have another one which is now the document that i made the correction to suppose i realize that actually i also made a mistake here so i can again go ahead and cancel this li like that and then amend it and save it again this the number now changes to two you see that and now when i come back here this document reads cancelled and i cannot do anything with it again because of course it has mutated into another document and now whatever change i need to make here for instance the price is not that but rather 11 i can do that and then i save it and i submit my document this is the concept of cons uh, of submittable documents and that is how you, this is where you can set uh, uh, the document if you need it to be submittable and to behave like that remember in summary the submittable documents are those documents you don't want people to keep changing after they have arrived at their final stage thank you so much for being with me and i see you in the next video